SafeSite's mobile man anchor is ideal for short-term maintenance work to flat roofs or to plant and equipment installed at roof levels such as air conditioning units and telecommunications equipment. The unit is currently the lightest on the market and can be used on all roof membranes, wet or dry, without the need to add additional counterweights. Before starting, make sure that you have all of the components and that the rubber boots are in place and in good condition, otherwise the performance of the unit can be compromised. Replacement rubber boots are available from SafeSite. Sweep any loose materials from the roof surface and then place the cross frame at least 2.5 meters from the edge of the roof. Slide a mobile man anchor weight onto each of the cross frame legs followed by an extension arm and then a further two weights. Make sure that the rubber boots on the weights are in place and in good condition, otherwise the performance of the mobile man anchor can be compromised. Now tighten all the locking handles in a clockwise direction. Connect the end of your rope lanyard with an approved carabiner to the mobile man anchor shock absorbing spring. It is worth noting that you should never connect to any other part of the man anchor unit. Now attach your shock absorbing rope grab device to the rope and then connect the carabiner to either of the chest or rear D-rings of the harness. Only one person can be connected to the mobile man anchor with a recommended maximum weight of 136 kilograms. All fall arrest products should be preferably used as a restraint system rather than fall arrest. When used for fall restraint, it must be used in conjunction with PPE that prevents the operative from reaching the leading edge. If you are using the unit for fall arrest, you must make sure that the correct combination of PPE is used to minimize the distance and consequence of a potential fall. Inertia reels must not be used in a horizontal plane over sharp edges. For any fall arrest situation, a detailed risk assessment, method statement and rescue policy must be produced by a competent person. For further information relating to the mobile man anchor, SafeSite has produced an operations and maintenance manual that is easily downloaded from our website www.safesite.co.uk